Okay, here we've got the um, the driver board for the servos, and we have to uh, solder on the connectors where the servos will connect. So what I've done is this is a, a breadboard <clears throat> used for prototyping, and it's a, kind of a one of those secrets or tips you learn along the way is I actually putting the headers into the uh, breadboard to help align things so that they're square and everything lines up as it should when I'm done. And it also holds everything in place while I'm soldering. So each one of these connections needs to be soldered. There's uh, 16, one for each possible servo, and three connections each. So there's 48 total connections to solder. So to solder, you just put the tip of the soldering iron here. It's heated up, of course, and you touch a little solder to it. And you have to hold it there until you see the solder's flowing a little bit. Um, and that's about all it takes. That one's done. And then you go to the next one. And the key here is you don't want to use too much solder because if you do, what will happen is the solder will jump from one terminal to the next and you'll cause a bridge of solder and that will cause a short circuit or it basically won't let the, the servo work properly. So you got to use just enough solder and it kind of comes uh, with learning over time how much to use, but a little bit goes a long way.